Welcome back to our restaurant project. In this session, we're going to finish up working with the array list and being able to print out parts of the menu. And then we'll go on to ordering specific items. So we're going to say else if SEC, which is a particular section, equals main dishes. or which is the two pipes the section dot equals and I forgot an s over here so I'll go back and change that um, then sorry we don't need the other or we're going to um, system dot out dot print ln menu dot get all main and wonder if I'm missing a curly brace here somewhere. Three of those, three of those. And then else System dot out dot print ln menu dot get all drinks. Go ahead and compile this. I think I have a mistake. I'm trying to try to see where it might be by compiling. It says it needs a parentheses. Oh, it needs parentheses around main dishes. There we go. And a semicolon. Okay. Still thinks there's an error. What is the error? Oh, print. Here we go. I'm missing a T. All right, so now what we want to do is we need to um, allow the person to enter an item that they want to order. So we're going to say something like system.out.print ln to order enter the item ID to the right of the item's name. And then we'll go ahead and scan in the item ID. So, so string item ID is equal to reader dot next dot to uppercase. Because the item ID is going to be an A or an M or a B plus a number. So that's why it's a string. And we want it all uppercase. And then we'll need to start a, a character. And we're going to call the variable item section. And then this is where we add the letter. So we're going to do item ID dot 
char at char at zero. So that way we're getting the letter off the front of the ID. And then we're going to go ahead and check what they have. So we're going to say while and um, it's, it can only be an A, an N, an M, or a D, then we can say while not those, um, we can enter, we'll print out an error message. But if it's one of those, then we want to go ahead and order, add it to our order. So we'll say why not, while not item sec equals, and notice that it, since it's a character, we're putting it or a char, we're putting it in single quotes. And then we're going to do or, and we'll do item sec double equals n for noodles, or item sec double equals m for main dishes, or item sec double equals D for drinks. And then we'll go ahead and print out an error message. Um, System dot out dot print ln invalid input please enter again so you can say basically what you want for the error message and then we'll go ahead and um, we can also check to see if they if they type in most of our IDs um, because of the number of items uh, on the menu are either two or three um, long, right? So you might have A1, right? Or you might have um, A A11, or you might have M3 and M7. So what we can do is we can also check for those lengths um, to make sure that, that somebody doesn't put in something strange. So we might also say or item ID dot length is equal to two or item ID dot length is equal to three. Um, that way if somebody types in four characters, five characters, or even one character, we know it's not in our menu and it's they're gonna get the error message too. And so then they get the error message. And then we'll need to get the item ID, rescan the item ID. So we'll say item ID is equal to reader dot next dot to uppercase. And this rescans the input. And then we'll say item sec is equal to item ID dot char at zero. Because char the item ID at zero is going to be the A, the M, um, the N for noodles. And then we'll we have our closed curly brace. And then we need to change that string into a number that we can actually use. So we're gonna say change string into number that we can look for in our um, arrays. So then we need to say int num is equal to, and we'll use the integer wrapper class, 
and we're going to use a method called parseInt. And what parseInt does is it takes out an integer from a string. So we're going to say item ID is our string, and we're going to say if we want a partial part of that string, we use substring. And we'll go from the first item because zero of that string is our letter, A for appetizers, N for noodles, and the first um, number is at position one in that ring. And then we want to go to the length of the item ID because we don't know if it's going to be one, two, or three numbers, depending on how many items we have in our menu. So we'll say item ID.length. Okay. And then we want to um, look for that number in our different sections. So we'll say loops until the number is in the range of the menus. So we'll say while num is less than the menu dot get appetizers dot size and item sec is equal to a or num is greater than menu dot get noodle size and item sec is equal to n or num is greater than menu dot get main size and item sec is equal to m and last but not least for the beverages num is greater than menu dot get drink size and item sec is equal to D curly race system dot out dot print ln invalid input please enter again item ID is equal to scan dot next I'm sorry reader dot next dot to uppercase and item sec is equal to item id dot char at zero and num is equal to integer dot parsent item id dot substring one comma item id dot length And then we need to end our while loop. And I'm missing an E over here.